Yeah, you've got, this is your mind. This is your subconscious mind. And this is your conscious mind. Mm -hmm. Your subconscious mind is to store information and never question it. Now it stores something inside called beliefs. Now belief has two parts to <laughs> it. It has a photograph situation from your past that you've experienced. Yeah? That has no relevance, it's just a story picture. What has relevance is this. It's the emotional pain or pleasure stored with it. So is it possible you can overcome fears? Yes or no? Yes. It's all because of that. So if you've got, if you've got a picture of a spider and you've got pain associated to that, will you move towards the spider or away from it? Away. away from it. If you disassociated that pain from the spider and then you see a spider, what would happen? Nothing, you just like so I'd spread the spider. Yeah? Because it's just a spider then, it has no relevance. Now, if somebody says they don't like you and you go, oh my god, I can't believe they've just said that, what's happening inside? Attached emotion to somebody saying something. But about if you're in a relationship and someone says, I'm sorry, I don't love you. It's not very nice to have happen, but it's just because you store emotion attached to it. Yeah? Now, you'll always have these going on. The only thing that we can do, you'll always have memories. You can't change that. They're all stored. So, all we can do is become aware of our emotions. That's all we can do. You can't change what's outside there. If someone's going to say they hate you, you can't change that. So maybe move away from them. But you can change how you respond to it. If you've been on courses, you already know that anyway. So, in a visual metaphor, this is your conscious mind. Now, your conscious mind, as you can see, is very small. It can observe and make decisions, but you can see the difference in size to your subconscious mind. So who rules the roost? Who rules the roost? Your subconscious is emotionally driven. So if it's telling you you're doing something, you're doing it. Now your conscious mind comes along and says, January comes along and I'm going to do this. And then what happens in February? <laughs> yeah? So let's work it out. Conscious mind, January comes along, I'm going to uh, set up a new business. February comes along, you've got to say a fear of rejection, bleep. People don't believe in me, they won't buy anything I sell. Who's going to win? Do you see why February gets all the blues? Yeah? Does that make sense now? So, visual metaphor. I'm going to introduce you to your protector self. So, you've got your conscious mind. Does that make sense? What that part is? By the way, if you don't, if you're not fully clear on what I'm saying and you want to put your hand up, remember, put your hand up. Nobody will judge you in this room. I know that for a fact. If we do, we'll stand. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so 